All right, basically, you did this. What you're going to do is you're going to do a clove hitch to put it in there. And okay. a clove hitch, the easiest way to do a clove hitch when you have it tied up like this. Go ahead and do it. There's a loop like this uh -huh. and a loop the other way. So it looks like that. Ah, Cross okay. them over. Ooh, okay. And when you put this in, you want the knot on the outside. Okay, so, so because this is my drill that I'll be holding this way. Okay, so you I want, want the knot on the outside. I want it like that, there. and then tighten it up. See how you got that? Yeah. And I want to do that myself. It reminds me of my loop, little loop knot thing I did. Okay. okay. Let's see. One that way. Now one the other way. There you no. Look how you got this one. See how this one comes over. Here, mm -hmm. now you want it under. Okay. Over and under. Over on one side, under on the other. There you go. Under. Got it. Nope. Hang on. You were right. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now, hold on. Hold on. Open them up again. Take this one. Throw it this way. Okay. And just put them across my finger. Now, if you look at it, if you pull it, it should be okay. See how it's one on each side? Yeah. And that's how you want it, one on each side like that. That's how you want it. I'm way over there. And... It's pretty... Is that going to be all right? Yeah, you can see. Okay. One one way, and then one the other. Now they meet in the middle. Oh, there you go, just like that. Oh, no, I get it. There you go. Okay, now Meet this. the middle. All right, so you got them both on the same side. You got to have one on each side. Oh, oh, yeah. So one goes. Okay. So this one. What it is, you got them both under. Okay. You got to have one? one under. Now that one over. There you go. Now put them together. And you should have one on each side. And put one knot on the outside. Put a knot on the outside. Which is freaking hard to do. Well, just put your finger through it. Yeah. Come Pull on. them tight. Oh, okay. Now, that, now you make sure, let go of these, you make sure that you got one on each side. Oh, okay. I now, just turn the stick around. Yeah, loosen that up. This is the hand that you got your stick in. Got your knot on the outside. And it goes this way. There you go. Now, and the now, second, got it? second thing. Go ahead. All right, now, what you do with this, you see how this one's coming out this way? And this one's coming out this way. So basically, you wrap them one one way. You want that one wrapped this way, and you want this one wrapped this way, and that's what you're going to have, something like that. All right. Now you don't have to have this tight, unless you want it tight. I usually do mine a little snug. That way, it stays a little better. But you know, that way it stands up like that. And then, all right, what you're doing with the bearing block? You got your your. Uh, you started your divot in the board. Yeah. All right. Now what you do with this is you're doing two things. You're burning this and burning this at the same time. That so, gives you your ash. Right. You want to step on it. This goes here. Bearing block goes in your other hand, your off hand. Whatever hand you're using, left to right. <laughs> Lock it against your knee. Lock your elbow into the knee like this. That way your hand doesn't move. And you go... And however much pressure you have on this is what's going to cause this to start burning. And you don't have to go fast on this. Just go back and forth and you can feel it starting to dig in. See it blackening up right yeah. here? Now we're going to start getting some smoke. So you want to burn it a little bit. Alright. It's then, so easy! Then when you stop, don't let this underground. See the ash you got built up here? Uh-huh, you put that back in your... Uh, no. That's in your... Uh... No. You want to knock that off. You want to save that. Yeah, that that's is good. your ember. Yeah. That this be is your... what your ember is going to be made of. All right, see how we got this cut in now? Now you put your V. Now we do the V. So you use that one time, or you can mostly use that V. You want now? You can you reuse that V, right? As like long you, as you don't go too deep, well, I could reuse this one here. Yeah. If okay. I wanted to, I could reuse that one. But see how these are almost all the way through? That means you use These aren't going to be any good. good. You won't be able to use that. But that one there, yeah, I could use that one again if I wanted to. Okay. 
So basically, once it gets to the bottom, you can't reuse it. Yeah, well, you're going to break it out. Yeah. You know, so you get to here, and now we're going to do a V. And the easiest way to do a V, we take a little baton, eh? We baton us a little V in here. And you want to go where you're almost to the center, but not quite into your circle. Right, see how that is? We'll come in. Where you got to be like that. All right, I'm going to come into your circle. Then, what I do is notice how these are all cut out. Uh -huh. You want to come in and you want to trim this so it breathes easier. We just want to widen this base out a little bit right here. See? All right, made a V. Yep, made a V. Made a V. All right, now, all this stuff that we had... We made a nice little here, pile. Yep, we want it in a pile. Because that's where the, the hot stuff is going to fall into and when you get it hot. Put your back away. And when you put your V down, Put it right, there. right there in that pot. Okay? Got this, got this. Step back on here. Get me some pressure. Get our bow drill back up. Hey, let's go to town. Uh -oh. yeah. mm. Right to the edge. You need to put your knots together. Yeah, I need to. Oh, that's okay. This is. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, they'll they'll move. What it is, I got it too far out and it's not burned in enough. This is one of these ones that either works or it doesn't, you know. Huh. And then if it doesn't, you yep. do it again. <laughs> smells like cedar, so it's made out of cedar. This is cedar, yes. So basically, you have to use everything in the same wood, I heard. Your spindle and your fireboard need to be the same wood, but you cannot use a hardwood. And you don't want something like pine, you know? Yeah. All right, my hole's too close to the edge, that's why it keeps popping out. So what we're going to do is just flip it over, and that one that I had burned right there, we're going to use it, all right? All right. But still got your pile. That's, that's the trial and error thing there. I put it too close to the edge. And that was my fault. That was your, you, you did your hole. When I did my hole and when I went to burn it in, it was okay, but it wasn't quite far enough back because when I did my V, I was right on the edge. So we're going to use this hole here, which was an old one, and see what we get. Like I said, I see tight that. against this. I think like I have the same problem. So putting pressure on it will keep you... Oh, Same thing. All right, so that board we're going to toss, and we're going to go to a new board. This board here, all right. So... Probably you want to start in the middle. What we said is, oh, you don't want to be in the middle. What we said is you want to be a little away from the edge, so see how that far is? Uh-huh. And we will put a mark right here. And we'll bury our knife. Right there. So you want almost like one tenths. Yeah, you want some space between your hole and the edge there, because when you do the, when you come back around to do the uh, um, groove, your V, you got to have some wood on the outside. See how we got the wood out All here right. now? First step, put your hole in. Second step, burn it out. Burn it in. Third step, make the V, but don't make too close. Well, this is what you don't want to make too close. You don't want this too close to the edge. Yes. Which is what I, the mistake I made on the other ones. A lot of trial and error when you're doing this. I see that. You know, and uh, till you get, you know, till you get it pretty good. Trial and error. A lot of trial and error. A lot of fires built off of that one. Lots of fires built off of that one. Matter of fact, Gene, I tried to get Gene to build a fire off of that one too one time. <laughs> he didn't do too well. It takes practice. It does, absolutely. Um, the first time I tried to show this to Leon, I couldn't get it to go for nothing. Just like I did here. Alright. 
See how we got it burning in now? And we're going to give this one a good burn in, all right? Look how easy this is. Well, this is the Egyptian bow drill. Yeah. And the difference with this and the American bow drill is this. Look at that. The spindle's even steaming. Yeah. You got smoke in. The, if the Egyptian bow drill, you get a lot more revolutions on the spindle than you do with the American bow drill. And that's a good burn in right there. Now we'll just cut our V in it. A couple of wax here if you would. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, I'm just trying to... Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, back in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. And by using um, cedar, it's a soft wood. So when you start getting your V, it'll pop out. And you can work down into it very carefully so you don't cut your damn finger off. That's why tapping it's a little easier. And you want this to go into the circle about an eighth of an inch. A little bit more. So I might need to sharpen my knife a little bit. All right, see how we got it right into the circle a little bit? Yep. Yep, right there. And then we're going to take and trim the back. Like we did the other one. That way we get more oxygen in to where the cinder goes. Yeah. All right. And now I did this the opposite way, so it's going to be toward you, which is okay. We can do it either way. Basically, you gotta put this in your hand, put your ember right in that little bundle. All right, but we got plenty of time. Yeah. Plenty of time. This one here, by doing this, you don't want to wear yourself out because this takes a lot of energy to do this. And if you're in a survival situation, this is the worst mm -hmm. way to start a fire. Yeah. Just like the you saw. You burn a lot of calories doing this. Yeah, you never the saw. You never mm -hmm. the Long saw versus a short sword. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. So now Even we're... though you don't like the... I got a couple brand new ones in there. Get back on this, all right? Now let's see what we get. Oh, much better. All right. This shouldn't take long at all. See how we got some smoke already? Yeah, damn. Then you just keep going. Because you want to make sure you get a nice ember in that. Too far out, yeah. You so I need to come in with the V a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I see that. All right. So, so this is the trial and error part. Yeah, I was watching. I'm like, I bet you the V needs to be deeper, and sure enough, the V needs to be deeper. One of the things is, 
All right, see how we got further in now? Yeah. Let's see if this works. Well, we got a pile down there. Oh yeah, I got a big nice pile. And really what you're trying to do too is fill all this up. Yeah. You know, so the ember starts right there. So you basically you yeah. push that in. So we're gonna try to fill this up a little bit. I seen this one guy on YouTube and he's a, like the master of this thing. He had different ways of making the I yeah. wanted to do it where you take a tree and do this. And you're going oh, sideways. Oh, yeah, the pump drill? Yeah. That's amazing if you can do that. So once he gets that Elmer going, you put it in your little bundle of... Once we get the Ember going... Yeah, you had to blow it. We take a break. Mm -hmm. And see, we still don't have an Ember going. Or do we? So we may have one in the bottom going. Nope, not yet. Alright, let me try that. Alright. So we'll knock all this off here. Wow. Oh, shit. Give the world. God! Okay, he's right behind us. <laughs> Was that the gator hit, again? Yeah, the gator hit the uh, water. You know what? Hmm. Oh, he's over there. I was just saying, I wonder if that gator took that bag. You know, the bag's over there. Yeah, there's a gator he right don't there. Go, he doesn't go on the shoreline. He's probably hitting fish. Alright. Get a brace up on your leg real good. That's how it's loose? Yeah. So un tighten it up again. Take it off and do one more loop on top and bottom. Uh, that should help you there. Yeah. I can see when we go to rendezvous we can be playing with this a lot, aren't we? Oh yeah. We wanna learn. Alright, straight up. Not a lot of pressure. Just try to get it going. You're leaning yeah. to the front. Okay, lean a little bit. No, straighten up. There you go. Now, as you get going, see a little smoke, you can put a little bit of pressure on it, and that'll help you some. Now, the kind of pressure you talk about, pushing down? Pushing or down or? a little bit, yeah. Okay. I'm making sure. Now, you don't, you know, you want it to be able to get moving. You know, the spindle, like straighten up. There you go. Should be getting some smoke here in a second. Shit. There you go. You got smoke, man. Keep going. Keep going. You just want to keep going until you can't do it no more. All right. Pick your spindle up. Don't move the board. All right. You got to... Right, let it sit there for a second. You know, I'm blowing it enough. Nope, just let it sit there for a minute. Okay, see it went out. Oh no, still smoking? Still smoking. All right, wave over just a little bit. Right, you don't need a lot of wind to get your ember going. Is there any more smoke? No. All right. God damn. You're not, you're not kidding about energy use. Well, like I said, this is the worst fire to do if you're in a survival situation. Uh, Holy we need to. We're probably gonna need to recut that. Yeah. Because it's weight. Look how deep it is. Yeah. I mean, you start over. See how deep it is. Yeah. Yeah, we just need to cut another hole. Okay, so once it gets to a certain part, you're gonna start breaking that out. I right, see what happens is. All right. Yeah. Look. Look while you're not getting an ember. Yeah, because yeah, your V's way up high. Yeah. It's yeah. not down to the bottom. That's why you're not getting an ember. All right. If we go too deep, it's bad. And uh, the V short me a short stick. Oh my God, you know, you probably starve to death before you get a fire going. God damn. You're right about the, the, the calories burn. Oh my God. 
This is one of those ones, if this is the only way that you have to build a fire, you better do it damn right the first time. And you better never let that fire go out. Yeah. I've never seen a guy who says uh, one fire, 38 hours a day of one start of a fire. You had one going for 38 hours? Uh, 30, 38 days or seven days. This is a video. So he's, I guess he. We're saving that. Saving that. So we do it, start over. We're going to start over here. I'm going to burn this in real quick. Talk about burning. And see, this is one of those ones. One time, just like now, it's fighting us. Can't get it. You got to take a break. Next time, done. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you get it right there. You're making it look so easy. Lots of practice. Yeah. All right, see how I got that burned in now? Now you cut your V. You know, and now I'm going to cut the V. And I'm going to step over here because... Y your legs are hurting. My knee is killing me. Need a need straw. I didn't mean, think... I probably have something in here to just put the knee on. If you had a... Uh... Got bricks over here. I mean, rocks. Trying to find a flat spot. Oh. Holy crap. Well, note to myself this is hard shit. Yeah, note to yourself, this is hard. <laughs> Holy uh, crap, I got myself into it. <laughs> yeah, you wanted to do this. Yeah, I wanted to do it. I want to try. I tried this before, but the the uh, sticks and stuff, I knew it was wrong and I need a hard stick. I'm doing something wrong. No, I didn't cut the V. I just want to do some practicing. Um, do you have your little saw? Yes, I do. That's what you got right there. Uh, and there's a. I remember seeing that laying back there. First, it sounded like it was in my camp. I didn't worry. My awesome no, no, no. Beast I went over to the end over there. Yeah. To your other camp. Thank you. Uh huh. Much easier. Easy with two people. What else do we do? Sure, that's a that's a, the V we need. You that's, think so? We got some more. No, that's. Well, what do we do with it now? Uh, I put it on the nope. The bottom. Oh yeah, you have to uh, round it out. Yes, sir. Just right on the edge. I gotta get the uh, water. Yeah, I was going to ask you, you want some tea? No, I got a bottle of water right here. Fine! Now. I want you to try my Mr. Mr. B sweet tea! I want you to see if you die of carbonated poison. That's right, put the knife away. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Uh. 
Okay. Hmm. One thing I learned a long time ago, never lay your knife down. Yeah. I laid my knife down on top of my tire one time when I was getting gas drove off and left it there. You went back for it or it's gone? I went back for it, it was gone. <laughs> I didn't get a mile down the road and it was already gone. Alright, straight up and down. Yeah, I'm, doing off the... I'm doing something wrong, yeah. this is wrong. Um, there you go. There you go. Not a lot of... I think this is my problem too. Practice, practice. There you go. Yeah, once you start getting a little smoke, a little bit of pressure. Like that you're going to need to build up a lot of uh, dust because you don't have any down there. So I can steal. Straighten up a little bit. There you go. When you make your spindle not round, you can hear it, you know, bumping as you get off, not straight up and down. It's like grinding right now. That's what you want. All right. Give it a speed up a little. I was wondering. Speed up or straighten up or something. Yeah, key, there you go. You almost got it. Let's see what we got. Got any on it? Okay, okay, you got something. All right, what you need to do now is put this stuff down. All right, step off the board, don't move the board. All right, now you want to pick the board up and pop it to get all that fall out there. Use the brain block. There you go. Keep going, keep going. Now back your board up, back your board up. Yeah, just go up it, back it up. There's your ember right there. All right, what to do here? I let you. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. Just leave it alone. Oh, okay. What yeah. are you smoking? Smoking. And that's what happens when you get your ember. Just you leave let it, it go. It. Because you got all that dust there. It has to burn. Oh, okay. So basically, you're making a small brown ember burn. Correct. That the ember, if you look at it, look at that. Look how nice that is. See that? This is my second try. Look at that, my second try, dumbass. <laughs> second try, nice ember, look at that. And you don't have to rush now. You can let this go. Now, get your tinder brush together and all that. See, what I do is when I get to that point right there, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I take me a step back. All right. Once you have everything, now yeah, carefully pick it up it's and very carefully, carefully dump it in there. Because you can still ruin it. Now you can tap it a little bit and get it in there. There you go. There you go. It's on you now, mister. And you don't need to blow real hard on it because it'll keep going. All right. Very nice. Just keep it going. And you can fold stuff around it now to try to keep it going. Blow on it. Very good. Very good. You can actually wave it around if you want to to try to get more wind through it. Yeah, I've seen that little. I've done that before, waving it around. There you go. Keep it up. You almost got it. Almost, almost beautiful ember. Oh, you had a little flame there. You got any flame? Yeah. All right. Let's go down there and we'll get us a little fire going. I want to see you get a fire going, man. It's on you now. A little bit of one. Very good, very good. Your first bow drill fire. Yeah, 
Okay, get some smalls in there. You got it going, man. Get some of them smalls going, and we are good to go. Pine cone definitely going. A pine cone on there already, huh? Yep, it's going to light up. Oh, very good, very good. And look at that. I got other tender just to really get it going. There we go. There you go. I'm cooking dinner. Oh, uh, fire from a bow drill. Don't burn my bow drill up, please. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get the parts away so it won't accidentally burn. burn it. Well, well, I just made fire from a bow drill the second try with the right equipment. Here's the right equipment. The right wood has to be the same wood I heard and to, was told. And the right, this is the Egyptian bow. And somebody's going to make me one. And I really appreciate his helping hand. And there's my fire for my bow drill. It only took you two tries. Yep, two tries. Very good. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, I read your cookie. See y'all later. Well, I'm sorry. I'm the ranger. <laughs>